think we did a press conference recently in America where we were trying to tell the honorable <coughs> FIFA that the matter that concerns should do why it should no longer be discussing it because we understand that everyone needs of if they're not connected to Odudua. They're not connected to Odudua. So those who are connected to Odudua should talk on Odudua <coughs> matters, not a stranger who was meant to, because every children of Odudua left the house, and I said, oh, only, oh, only means someone who stays at home, a home stay. So, and uh, let me not bother you with all this. <laughs> 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 I love this too, you know, <laughs> 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 But the point I'm trying to raise is that even those ethnic nationalities that tells you Jack and Jill of how great they are were submerged. The questions we ask, I will give you 15 different books where it was stated different times, where Benin defeated every of these ethnic nationalities around. When the Oba of Benin visited the Sultan of the last day, the Sultan of Last year, David, the Sultan of Sokoto said something. He said, Asset politics, asset politics, Oba is number one. In closed door, in closed door. And I was someone who was there actually told me this two weeks ago. He said, Asset politics, you are number one in this country. He said, Because during the days of the Sultanate, when it was expanding, only one king stopped. All right, the caliphate of the Fulani was the Obarabini. And it was not true war, as a matter of fact. I remember the story very well. It was Obadola, who was the father of Obaburamen, uh, Obada was the post of Calabar. What happened was that he heard that there were some people were ravaging through the northern part, almost entering his vast empire. He said, I'm not going to give them war. It is not important. But go and tell them that with all their war conquest, they should dig the soil under their feet. Hmm? If they find a red sand, know that it is my territory. They should back off. That was the only message of Adolf was sent. And eventually, that's exactly what happened. So when the dog, if we get into almost Auchi, the dog, the sand, it was a red soil, and it was like, okay, this, this is the territory of this new <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm using the word. <laughs> this territory of this all-powerful king, and and they went back. So in reality, politics have made traditional institutions not to know their mates anymore. Otherwise, nobody ever, ever defeated the Bini ancestors in any war. Obviously, uh, we're ravaging Igbo territories. As if, uh, that's the quarrel they still have with us. They don't like us because. They said we made a mess out of them, made slaves, sold them as slaves to the transatlantic. Yes, a lot of them emailed me that. I, I, I do not saying that we can never forgive you people for what you people did to our ancestors. I told them that's that's imperialism. That's imperialism. If it, if I'm stronger than you, I'll beat you and take everything. They don't say that. That's imperialism. So it wasn't. You can't blame me. You have to blame your ancestors for being. For being weak. Weak. Yeah, thank you. You can't blame me, and that's the reality. You can't blame me. All right. So, if you were able to beat masters, you would have sold masters as slaves. We defeated you and we sold you as slaves. Not just only them, we sold your masters as well. So, that makes me imperialistic. Now, I tell them, tell me any war fought between Benins and Yoruba, between, between Benin and Igbos, every other tribes around, that we were defeated. Nobody is able to tell. The only one war we lost was to the British in 1897. So it was a blow that was too devastating, you know. The people was used to winning. They eventually lost. So we've been still grieving till recently when GBD came out and said, you can no longer grieve anymore. <coughs> we have to tell the world that the Benin people have to come back in a very united format. And that's exactly why we're here. We're here to tell our Akalaka brothers, our Inwar brother, blood brothers, that <coughs> our relationship with them is not created by the British. It's ancestral, it is a bloodline relationship. And we are the very future of our land. And the onus lies upon us for we to take the bull by the horn by taking, by saying that whatever alien antecedent that has been given to us by whoever, 
we are saying capital regimental to read, and this is who we are, this is who we must accept, and we must come together as one people to chart a futuristic goal for the greatness of the Umura people and the Benin people. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wonderful speech. All the sorts of things. As you can see, look at the pride in me. Look at the names. Akanaka. Akanaka. Precious. We are precious people. Your Omaha, death will not take you. Do you know what that means? Your foundation. That is why we are strong people. Death will not take us. Death will see us our own way. Yes. You see it? This is this is this is the source of our courage, source of our strength, our power. You see where we come from? You see you see you see this lineage of strong warriors, conquerors, people that subdued, people that call themselves majority tribes today. We are winners. We will always be winners. They have never lost the war. Our ancestors have never lost the war. Has the other ever lost the war? No. You see? That is why everything we do, we achieve it. Just like my friend, anything we want to do, we achieve it. Yes. We told you we would bring in the sensation, we did it. Yes. 